for those of you that might have missed our flame test today, I wanted to make sure you did not miss the concepts of what we learned. So we had, you'll notice here, five different solutions. Each of the solutions had a different cation, which is a positive ion. Now an ion is just a charged particle. That means you've either gained electrons or you've lost electrons. And what we were trying to do in the flame test was to show how scientists can use something such as heat to make the electrons change their energy level in order to give off a certain spectrum, a certain color. I'm making that weird noise. My daughter's here and she sounds like some kind of, I don't know what she's doing, but she's very distracting. <laughs> so anyway, what happens, here's Liz. Say hello to Liz. Hello. All right, are we good? Yeah. Are you gonna quit sounding like Darth Vader? <laughs> All right, so each cation um, and, and each atom on the periodic table gives off a spectrum that's just like a fingerprint for us. Now with the naked eye, we may not be able to determine um, exactly what the chemical is, but there are um, really complex pieces of equipment called mass specs that can determine what a particular chemical is, and this is very useful in forensics. So today, you guys were able to take an unknown solution that we pretended had killed one of your classmates. It had poisoned them. And your job was try to figure out what cation um, was the culprit. So let's see if we can do that just by you guys watching. Again, you're looking for the unique spectrum. So we will start backwards for you guys and I will let you see the unknown spectrum first. Just look into the flame here. Okay, you'll see the unknown is very much um, a reddish orange color. So keep that in mind because you're going to try to deduce from using all these other chemicals which one might be the one that killed your classmate. And you can pick whichever classmate you want because I will leave that imaginary part up to you. So the first one here is potassium chloride. It's the potassium ion and it burns kind of a peachy purple color, okay? Um, you'll notice that your color was an orange, so that can't be it. The next color and the next solution is copper chloride. And you'll notice, uh, we're doing flame tests. I'm making a video for any kids that missed today and showing them what we did if you're wondering what I'm doing back here. And so you'll oh, notice the green. copper chloride burns a green color. Holy crap. Now the only the orange is where my paper has caught on fire. Okay, but it burns green for just the chemical. So that cannot be the chemical that killed our classmate. Don't set that fire. The next one is going to be <laughs> calcium chloride. This is our next potential solution that might tell us what our unknown was. Now that is an orange red. What was our first one, our unknown, Liz? It was orange-red. It was an orange-red, too. So let's kind of pull this one to the front and keep that in mind. We have sodium chloride, which is your table salt. Now, this is pure. This does not have any impurities, which would come in your actual table salt you use at dinner. There we go. Whoa, it's an inferno. It's an orange-yellow. Not quite, not quite our unknown. And our last potential culprit is our lithium chloride. Wow. Let's see what it'll do. Mm. Give it a second. It takes it a minute. Oh, it's there purple. We what the heck? We've no, got a magenta from the lithium ion. Now, you might think that looks similar to your unknown, but let's run the unknown one more time. Keep that hot pink you just saw in mind. And let's run this one more time, your unknown. All right, now there's your unknown, and let's look at the calcium chloride again. The unknown. All right, here's your calcium. Here's your unknown. You'll notice they're identical. So we now know that what killed our classmate was the calcium chloride because they have the same spectrum, which is like our fingerprint. Can you turn that off? Yes, sir. 